everyone, and welcome again to this week's edition of Sam's 10-Minute Tuesdays with my co-host, Joe Templin. Uh, this topic this week is extremely timely because it was uh, just a, actually, Joe and I were both feeling this, this, uh, this, this stress this week and talk about the pros and cons of it, but he had the best way of describing it, and I just had to, had to make sure that he shared that with you. So stress comes in two different forms. There's the good form and the bad form. You know, it's been a long week, you know, and it's been a lot of work, a lot of stuff going on. But if it's the good type of stress, when you're working towards building your business, when you're running the core activities, you're meeting the clients, you're making dials, you're getting the introductions, you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing to build your business, you're energized, you feel good. You know, I'm tired, but it's a good sort of tired is what you hear sometimes from people. You know, they have those long days and at the end of the day, they're like, oh man, I had three fact finders. I got 12 introductions. It was awesome. Or you can have those days where it's non-core activities, it's paperwork, it's dealing with underwriting, it's dealing with all the other stuff. You know, dogs barking, you know, kids spill stuff. And it's just negative stress and it piles up and it piles up and it sucks your energy away and makes you more tired. And your body actually produces cortisol during that. And it's an inflammation hormone and it slowly breaks your body down, which is one of the side effects of long-term PTSD or stress versus the good sort of stress where you're working towards something, you're excited, you can't sleep Sunday night, not because you're worried about going to the office, but you're like, yes, I get to go work tomorrow. I get to help people. It's great. You know, so having that positive, energizing sort of stress in your world allows you actually to reach the point of flow. It allows you to increase your productivity. You're having fun with what you're doing as opposed to being, oh, God, I got to do this, which beats you down. Yeah, I love I love your description of it, even the word itself, eustress versus distress. You know, and it's a eustress uh, puts more positive feeling connotation on it. Because uh, it's it's like the word I have a uh, I, I I use a lot uh, the description called positive tension. You know, it puts mm -hmm. positive tension on you. It pushes you out of your comfort zone. I also like it in a good way. Yes, absolutely. I also like it because it, it, it's an odd word that people would normally use. Uh, I've only heard of it a couple of times. I had to look it up to make sure I knew what it was. It's like the word ephemeral. There's a there's a the only way I remember that one is there's, there's a saying that says the spoken word is ephemeral, but the written word is permanent. So anytime I see the word ephemeral, I know that it means temporary. Uh, use stress right. is great. Uh, and I'd like to expand, have you expand it even more on that a little bit. And what's the, why is it such a, such a positive, what's the positive tension uh, that, that it, uh, and how does it deliver positive tension to everybody and make us perform better? Well, I have to give credit where it's due. I stole the term completely from Tim Ferriss in the book, Four Hour Work Week, which I read I don't know, when it first came out, it was a major influence on how I approach my business in terms of efficiency. But we all have a certain amount of time in a day. Okay? We, everybody has 24 hours, doesn't matter if you're Bill Gates or a brand new rep who's in training. You still only have 24 hours a day. So one of the things that you need to do is focus on the activities that are going to produce the results that you want and making sure that you can be as productive around them. So mm -hmm. getting into the state of flow, getting into the state of euphoria, essentially, you stress, enjoying what you're doing. You know what? Parts of our job are absolute crap. I still hate picking up the phone 25 years in. I hate it beyond any belief. Anyone who knows me knows I'm a 90 plus percent phone. I hate phoning and I do it. Okay, I get stressed out over it, but the instant that it's done, it's done, and it's off my plate. But the fun thing, sitting down and hearing clients' stories, helping them create plans for their future, teaching them, you know, seeing the fruits of our labor, those are the fun things. And yeah, there's a lot of that in here. I mean, sometimes I have to spend five, six hours a day analyzing stuff to be able to help clients, and that could be stressful, but I like it. My friends are all engineers. The stuff that they do for fun, most of us would poke our eyes out for. So being able to find the things that are enjoyable within what we do and pushing yourself on them. It's just like runners 
who are pushing themselves to get a PR. People who enjoy lifting, who you know put extra weight on the bar to push themselves so that their muscles grow more. People who do sports like martial arts, where you're owning skills or you're playing the piano. Practicing the piano could be absolute torture, but if you love playing the piano, if you love what you're working towards, a performance, or you want to surprise your crush with something with it, you know, anything along those lines makes it so that you're willing to do the work. And because you have a purpose in mind and you love the process, you're willing to go through it. And it actually sort of energizes you knowing if I make these 15 dials, I'm going to be able to buy that BMW. If I get my seven introductions today, I'm going to be able to qualify for a million dollar round table or quarter the table and be able to take the kids to Disney World or do whatever I want. So being able to tie some of those sucky little actions into a grand scheme and have a plan, it's like um, Arnold Schwarzenegger said, you know, when he lifted, when he was competing as a bodybuilder, he loved every single rep because he knew that that was one more step in his ultimate goal of being Mr. Olympia or Mr. Universe. So every rep was important to him and he learned to love it. And what's what's the word you use again? You call it eustress. How do you spell that? E-U-S-T-R-E. E S S. So U E U or is the opposite of dis D Y S. So something could be dysfunctional or it could be U functional, which means that's the opposite extreme. It's highly functional, it's great. And all too often we see dysfunctional processes within our business that then create stress. You know, the ledger wasn't run, the uh paperwork's missing a signature which seems to happen all the time the underwriter wants something additional that we didn't think about so the way that we flip it on its head is that we try and create u stress or u functional processes that are smooth and so that we know that we're getting the consistent results and if we just then trust our process we don't have to stress out if we know my assistant is going to do x y and z if I do T and deliver to them what needs to be done, I don't need to worry about anything along there because I trust my people, I trust my process, and it just flows and allows me to reach my state of flow overall. And that's one of the big differences between a lot of people in our industry is that we have financial service practitioners. They have a practice because they haven't gotten it right. And the instant they walk out the door, things stop versus a business machine runs and we just have to plug in the pieces and run the machine. We get our introductions, click the button, take them through the system, tick, 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 and clients come out the other side. Just like right now, I can either stress out or I just go with it. And I was, it, I'm pushing myself beyond my comfort zone, trying to juggle some things, uh, just like we all are throughout our day. It's actually also why I like my uh, name, my book, uh, Big Goals, Short Deadlines, because that creates a lot of positive tension uh, in our lives. Uh, if a deadline, you know, set a date, you will, you will procrastinate. Uh, it is definitely one of the things that's led to a lot of my success. Uh, not, not that I'm a procrastinator, uh, but sometimes, hey, the, that positive tension really, really pays off. Well, anybody who has kids knows this. Hey, you got to put on your shoes so we can make the bus. That's right. And... And, uh, and bottom line is that sales is an activity game, right? And introductions allow you to win the game every single day. <laughs> yes, they do. Thanks again. Great talk to you. And by the way, we're going to get some, uh, let's get some guest speakers in in the, in the coming weeks. And that'll be a lot of fun. Love it. Yeah, people are tired of hearing me. Yeah, let's get some good so guys in. <laughs>